he said, I think one of the, he said one of the craziest moments when I was in New Orleans, one of the craziest moments I would say, as far as like danger or whatever, whatever, you, however you want to put it, was, uh, so I was down on Bourbon Street, right? I think at this time I was just, I had just bought a fifth of Remy, so I just bought a fifth of Remy, we was sipping it, me and Janelle, or Janelle and I, and we were just walking, I was walking with the sign, I probably had my headphones on, so I'm chilling, I'm probably, I don't know what I was listening to, you know, when I get in on headphones, I get the, here we going crazy, so, as I'm walking down Bourbon, I'm looking to see who looking at me, that's how I do it, right, so, so when I hold a sign and shit, I hold a sign on. Niggas selling books for a race. So whoever look, and then they get to smile and they look. So they'll look at some people, this is what they'll do, right? They'll look, they'll look at the sign and then laugh and just keep walking. But some people will look at the sign and be like, and look at me. And when they look at me, I'm, you know, check, check this book out. You know, just go crazy like that. So uh, when I was doing that, this white boy, you know, he walked up to me like, I love to read, drunky, I love to read it. And I love, I just love poetry and everything, and and this is so cool, man. And just you know, he telling me about himself, but then he end up eventually asking about what I'm doing. And, and I, what was crazy, I let him read his poem and everything. So I'm like, I'm like, go ahead, read your shit, bro. So that nigga read his shit, and um, so when he read it, I'm like, okay, that's dope. And I'm telling him, okay, I got a book for sales, nigga. Uh, definition of a nigga redefining the slur. Oh, he's like, that's cool, you know, and but he was steady, like, veering off, like, it was taking too long to get the sale, so I'm like, man, I'm, I'm trying to get the sale, like, I don't know what you doing, right? Yeah, so, so some, some lady walk up and shit, selling pussy, you know, she tell him 300 an hour, and they was contemplating, and I'm like, what the fuck, um, you doing out here? So I say, oh, oh, before you go get some pussy and do all that, man, you you gotta buy this book, Joe. You tweaking like that. And so, shit. <laughs> he ended up, uh, they ended up playing and shit. So I was, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I walked off. But then, as I was walking off, I probably took like five to ten steps as I was walking off. I'm like, man, fuck that, man. This nigga about to give me my bread, Joe. He just blew me. And I, don't, I can't remember how many sales. I made before that, but it probably wasn't a lot. You know, I made some sales, but it's like at night, that's when you try to clean up, you know? So, shit. I walk back and I'm like, man, bro, you got to get my dub, man. I'm not playing with you, Joe. Just go ahead and get my Tony for the book. Like, stop, man. You can go fuck whatever. He was like, take my card. I'm like, man, I'm not taking your card. And, and sometimes the opportunity occurred where I, me personally, I don't really be with that shit sometimes. Like, I don't know. I just was trying to be right, I guess, whatever. I just wanted $20 from him, and then when I told him that, shit, dude ass ended up calling me a bitch, he's like, he's, I was like, nah, just go to the 18, I don't feel like a bitch, so shit, next thing I know, I steal him, boom, his ass fall, and they get to jumping me and shit, but they want to hit me, like, I hit him, he fell, so his friend tackled me, his friend was a big white dude, you feel me, big, big white motherfucker, so, He tackled me or whatever. The next thing I know, shit, um, I just see Janelle whacking the nigga over the head with the fucking Remy bottle. I'm like, damn. She ain't never did that. You turned up, huh, shorty? So she got him up off me, and then everybody was crowding around, and then the police came and shit. But long story short, though, like, they ain't really, police ain't do shit. They put me in cuffs, but uh, the people was telling them that they started with me, so they let me go, shit. But uh, I got a picture on Instagram about that shit, though. I had his ass leaking instantly. That was probably, like, the, the craziest. Yeah, that was, like, the craziest moment. I had to put hands on him and shit. I think that was the, the only person I put hands on. I fucked this shit up, though, and he came back trying to get people $20 to, to fight me dudes, and they knew what I was about. They knew I'm out here on this political uh, activist stuff, so they, they, man, what up? Shout out to him. Shit, so, hey, man, this white boy, we'll, we'll beat him. Hey, shout out to him, man. Say, I'm all that shit on me. Nah, I'm good. I'm just going to stay out here and get this money, shit, and sell these books. And that's what I did, shit. So they didn't do shit. He had a big ass, like, I don't know if he got staples or not, but he had some, uh, not staples, but stitches. But yeah, he had some shit on his fucking uh, face, though, from the hospital, you know? Fuck my light at, man.